Tonight at 6, bringing new life to aging apartments. We're checking in on major renovation projects at two troubled east side complexes. This could help about 100 families living in affordable housing in Jacksonville. The News of Jack's I team has been investigating conditions at these sister complexes for years. And in September, we told you about a developer, that nonprofit, that bought the buildings and promised to renovate. Here's a map showing of where they are, roughly a mile from the stadium. And they've also changed the name from East Side Terrace and Gardens to Townsend and Boylan Flats. I team investigator Vic Michalucci went to those complexes today and gives us a look at the potentially life changing work at the challenged complexes. You may remember a couple of years ago, we came to the east side and we saw some people living in just terrible conditions. All the grass, the trash, the weeds, beer bottles, soda cans. Well, now we're driving down the same stretch and immediately I can see that the grass is mowed. There's not the trash that we used to see. They even planted some trees and that's nice. And if we turn the corner, we'll take a look and they are actually renovating it doesn't look like much now but they're working on painting the outside you can see the dumpster here so they're gutting the insides pulling out the old wood and insulation and that's a promising site not just for people that live in these apartment complexes but also the community as a whole it's more than just putting on a fresh coat it's contributing to a piece of history some people would say it's just paint why is it bigger than that it's the finished product this is, what is, this is what you're going to see when you ride by in our east side community. For Derek Connor, it's personal. Who are the contractors? Where are they from? I'm um, from right out here. From right in this neighborhood, out of the community. Born and raised in these very walls. Taurus Gordon also grew up here. It's really an honor. It's really an honor. Not to mention, he moved back with his family just months ago. So you are working on the apartments you live in? Yes. What does that do for you? Uh, it, it, it's made me feel even better. I have a you know, job at home that I can just walk out my door and go to work. They're among the many local contractors hired to bring life back to this pair of troubled complexes, long neglected with rats, roaches, mold, and structural issues. After numerous I-Team reports starting in 2021, government agencies stepped in, fining the previous owner $600,000, leading to the $6 million sale to local nonprofit Lift Jacks and Joint Development, who've promised much needed improvements. We can see the exteriors. They're doing a lot of work there. You've got the blue paint. Some places they're still pressure washing or priming before the final paint. But let's take a look at the rest of the complex. They're doing a little bit of work on the stairwell. Some of that still needs to be done. And we want to walk inside and take a look at these units. Now, people are still living here. Families are still staying in their units. So the crews are doing this room by room, and they're trying to get some of the vacant units fixed up first in case they need to move a family. This is one of the apartments, and you can see, well, they have gutted it. Toilet, sinks, drywall insulation, a lot of renovation to be done. But there is some good news that they're certainly getting some work done here. How you doing? However, not everyone is sold. These longtime residents are in their 70s and 80s. Well, they They've heard a lot of promises over the years and have seen little change. Do you want them to come in and do a full renovation? Yes, I mean, well, move me out. There's a long way to go, but it brings hope of a brighter future for a once drab complex. It means a lot when they see a change, when they see, you know, paint, new paint being put on the walls, you know, new flooring and new, um, appliances and stuff, it, it, it make a difference. On the east side, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.